Hey guys, it's Shannon Crafting here, and today I'll be showing you how to download the shaders mod in Minecraft 1.7.10, and I'll also be showing um, how to download shader packs, and also this tutorial is for Mac, not for Windows, so sorry for any of you uh, people who want to look for a Windows tutorial for how to download shaders. So first of all, you you'll have to go to this website and I'll link it down in the description below the link to it and basically this website is where you get the shaders mod so um, scroll down here you'll see shaders mod here click that and then you'll it'll take you to this uh, Dropbox uh, tab and I have one here too already opened okay so uh, what you want to do with this is you click download and I've already got it in my laptop I've already downloaded it so um, I'll just show you so once you've downloaded it, I'll show you what to do so I don't really I don't need to download it again so discard okay so once you've got the shaders file you go to finder and you do command shift G and I'll put this uh, command in the description below also and basically do that wiggly thing I, sorry I don't know what that's called and slash and then library so then enter and you'll uh, you're supposed to see a bunch of folders click application support and look for minecraft which is over here so once you're in the minecraft folder um, you go to mods and as you can see here I've already got the shaders mods installed and put in the mods folder so what if you if you just downloaded the pack at uh, the shaders pack mod you uh, and it's in your desktop just drag it in and that's it so once you've done that um, exit that and start up minecraft it's gonna take a while So, look at the bottom left of the of your launcher, and you'll you're going to supposed to see edit profile. So click edit profile, and you'll be able to see use version over here, and release 1.7.10 shaders mod. So once you uh, you click 1.7.10 shaders mod, save profile and just play. Okay, so. I've already gotten in, in my uh, in my mods in my shader mod, so I'll be showing you how to download that too. So as you can see, I've got a world here, and it's with shaders. Now, first of all, when you've uh, downloaded the shaders mod, you're not gonna be able to have shaders yet, which is why you need the shader packs. And shader packs are basically sort of like, um, how do I say it? It's sort of uh, what makes shaders mod shaders mod. It's sort of like, example, in one shaders pack, you can uh, make the grass, like, you know, um, look like it's wind, like winds, like blowing it, so it's like swing. And some have shadows, like what I have now. Some have, um, trees the leaves of the trees like um, swaying back and forth some have water like this and yeah there are many different types of uh, shaders shader packs and it's up to you what you like personally this is my favorite shaders mod I mean pack sorry um, it's called the it's called the Paulus lagless shaders bo3 RC5.6 and yeah um, okay now I'm going to be showing you how to download the shader packs so let me just quit minecraft um, I'll this is a website where you can download a lot of 
a lot of things in like um, that is connected with Minecraft. And I'll leave the dis I'll leave the link in the description below. And this is the Silver Shaders mod for Minecraft 1.8 or 1.7.10. So what you want to do is basically uh, scroll down, and you'll be able to see this download links for Silver Shaders mod for Minecraft 1.8 and 1.7.10. And it says here Silver Vibrant Shaders 1. Point Okay, so basically, this is light, medium, high, and ultra. It depends on what your um, PC or, well, Mac we're talking about. Uh, what your Mac is, um, how much ROM it can handle and how much gigabytes it has. Um, light is for when your Mac isn't really, is, isn't really good. And ultra is when your Mac is really good, like it can handle like the lag and all so basically you can download any but I'm just gonna download light and I've already actually downloaded light so I don't really need to download again but I'll just show you and basically um, you'll you have to wait for this ad fly thing so just skip ad and it'll take you to this media fire tab this page and you can download it here so click download sorry these like ads keep um, popping up so as you can see here I've downloaded it on the bottom left of my laptop click that and I've got it installed in my Mac so what you want to do is go to finder and and you'll see soldiers vibrant shaders mod here I mean shader pack here so then what you want to do is go Command Shift G again and do that same command. Enter, go to application support, Minecraft, and go to and scroll down and you'll be able to see shader packs and click shader packs. And as you can see, I've already gotten I've already got a lot of shader packs downloaded. And I've actually already have I actually already have Soldier's Vibrant Shaders over here. So basically just drag it from your desktop or from your finder to the shader packs uh, folder so once you've got that there go open up minecraft and wait for it to load hold on it's gonna take a while and again of course you'll have to be on um, 1.7.10 shaders mod you have to be logged in here with this you this with this version. So the save profile play. And once you're in oh once you're logged, you'll be able to see the shader pack that you've downloaded. Right over here. So what you want to do to get the shader packs is press S to go to the game menu press options and you'll be able to see shaders here um, so click shaders and you'll be able to see the, the shader packs that you've downloaded and over here as you can see I've got the soldiers vibrant shaders pres I mean sorry that's the other one soldiers vibrant shaders 1.0.51 at 1.051 light beta dot zip and this one's the one that we just downloaded click that and press done done and back to the game so as you can see it's really cool there are a few clouds and the grasses are moving and yeah it's a really cool it's a really cool mod and of course if you need help with anything please just comment down in the comments section below and I'll be glad to help you uh, download this mod that's it for now thanks for watching guys and See you in the next video.